Hi people, Marino Ravenberg here again. Um, in this video, I'm briefly going to mention the point of trauma specifically, as in what causes trauma and how to cope with it or how to deal with it as best as possible. Uh, before I continue, you can find the link um, to the article in which this video will be embedded called How to Maintain One's, how to maintain one's Mental Health. It's a video that I an article as well as a video that I did a while ago uh, in May of this year, so a couple of months ago, roughly estimated five months ago. Uh, and it's very similar, of course, subject-wise. As a matter of fact, most or all, if not at the very least, most of all the points that I mentioned in the article, as well as the embedded video, are uh, methods for coping and dealing with trauma and healing yourself from it. But yeah, let's, let me just begin with the, the subject of trauma itself, you know, what's trauma? Trauma is within an occult context, astral damage sustained due to some traumatic event. So due to an intense event that is of a negative nature. Uh, simple examples of trauma that I can give are being sexually assaulted, such as rape, molest. Uh, being taken advantage of, one's privacy or uh, self-respect being violated uh, through some action by a third party, of course, by an aggressor. Um, and specifically, it's not about the physical action, it's about the, uh, the astral or mental intent behind said action, which causes the damage. An example that I can give is someone, for example, that has been sexually abused, for example, a woman that's been raped uh, for, let's just say, a decade almost. Someone that was kidnapped, locked up in a dungeon, and then the aggressor or kidnapper had his way with her uh, and just raped her uh, and molested her sexually for that extensive amount of time to the point where she manages to escape. Needless to say, it's not about physical damage, okay? It's not about the person. The person might not even have a scratch on her, uh, but on him or her. But the point is that it's about the, me the, the astral damage that has been done. That traumatic series of events or those traumatic series of events over that amount of time uh, will cause you substantial astral damage. It'll really do a number on you, so to speak. And uh, yeah, as a result, the person, even after escaping, after being physically safe, etc., will still experience issues, uh, generally speaking. Okay, 9 out of 10 times they do. Rarely do you come across someone that simply came off of it unscathed, spiritually, now. Otherwise, you have to be one tough SOB, you know. You have to be really ridiculously tough as an individual as in uh, astrally sturdy and bulky in order like me for example in order to be able to just go about life uh, and yet acknowledging that everything happened and having dealt with it but not having any kind of um, ptsd related uh, related ailments whatsoever uh, it's very similar to PTSD. PTSD is literally also a form of trauma. That's why it's called post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, yeah, in any case, in the given example, um, you can imagine that someone like that, for example, a woman that goes through something like that, gets kidnapped and then raped, etc., sexually molested for a decade before she manages to escape, will have severe issues when it comes to intimacy. In the worst case scenario, oh, at, at its slightest, the person might feel uneasy about having sex or being sexually intimate or undergoing either performing or being subjugated or subject to any sexual activity whatsoever. And at the, in the worst case scenario, at its, at, at its most severest, the person will, the woman will outright not want to have anything to do with sex whatsoever. The mere sight of a man just giving her a compliment that might be romantically or sexually suggestive, even to the slightest of extents, will trigger an unwanted response that is clearly an indicative of damage um, that is looming, okay, of astral damage sustained. It all depends on the, 
on the individual and the nature of the damage that has been sustained um, that will decide how the person how that woman in given example will actually react you know someone briefly hitting on her might cause her to go in a to a mad fit of rage and to just flip out altogether and to just start stabbing the person that briefly came on to her or she might start crying hysterically or she might just completely freeze up as in become completely unresponsive and apophatic to the point where it's like she turned into a tree or some kind of inanimate object a tree is an inanimate, an inanimate object but you know what i mean uh and <clears throat> yeah that's pretty much it again that's just one example so again i repeat by definition a tra trauma is simply a negative astral is a is trauma sorry i'm gonna repeat myself trauma is simply i want to phrase it as best as possible trauma is simply astral damage sustained by definition astral damage sustained through one or multiple events that are negative or malevolent in nature specifically for the receiver to put it that way uh, so someone that's traumatized is someone that has sustained heavy usually substantially mild to substantially heavy uh, astral damage through one or multiple events of a negative nature the likes of which i just gave an example of um, i don't need to give more examples that's what trauma is in any case i already gave an example uh, and it can just go it just goes on and on and on okay i can give plenty of other examples uh, someone for example that uh, another example is someone that distrusts people because the person has been taken advantage of a lot in his or her lifetime and the person just naturally develops a distrust towards people um, of course under certain certain circumstances this is this is normal but i'm talking about specifically in a situation or scenario where things did not happen things did not go well for the person and as a result the person unjustly distrusts everyone as in to the point where the person becomes paranoid thinking that everyone is out there to get you everyone wants to take advantage of you every person that smiles and that comes at you has a hidden agenda it just goes on okay uh, but that is a minor form it's not something that is really noticeable for example to the point where the person needs to be admitted to a psych ward or needs therapy or something like that in any case now here it comes how to deal with trauma the best way to deal with trauma is meditation regardless of what you if you're suffering from trauma regardless of what you might have been through or gone through in life bottom line is that you can be helped and if conventional methods don't do it for you as in going to a therapist or a psychologist or you're simply looking for the quickest most effective and cheapest way possible to simply process that um, and to simply process and recover from that astral damage to the point where you're neatly healed up and you're as happy as a clam again hypothetically speaking and can just move on with your life is meditation again i'm referencing to the article how to maintain one's mental health uh, since these subjects are so similar uh, so close to each other in terms of similarity then you can all the points that i mentioned to maintain your mental health apply to this subject as well so you can practice all of these points uh, in the article in order to recover from the astral damage that you might have um, endured uh, as a result of being traumatized so to speak um, but meditation is uh, number one in this article and it's number one for a reason in all things in that in all things mentally mental of a mental health nature and that includes trauma despite the fact that i said that um, that um, trauma is astral damage sustained i'm speaking in an, in an occult context obviously because mental and astral are not one and the same bottom line but again it's not something that you have to worry about in terms of details etc no, 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 don't bother about that okay let's just maintain focus on the topic bottom line is if you want to recover from trauma then meditation is definitely one of the best things to do one of the best ways to go um, by meditating you can simply heal yourself automatically so that damage will disappear and you'll be healed up astrally and so spiritually 
to the point where you are simply people like I said to move on with life and you simply need to follow the so called instructions that I wrote down in the article simply calming your mind and meditating the same way that you see the average person meditating you know easily look up the information how to meditate just breathe in and breathe out in a relaxed calm fashion and just focus specifically on the part of your life in which you endured that trauma for example you were raped and you simply meditate in a conventional way but the intent is specifically on the on healing from the damage that you sustained from being raped by simply telling yourself that <clears throat> by simply first acknowledging it that you were raped playing the scenario in your mind over and over again to the point where you have wholeheartedly accepted that it has happened to you so you need to acknowledge it first that's point 1 Point two, all the all the while while meditating. Point two, you simply need to say to yourself, it has no effect on you. I'm completely healed. I'm capable of being intimate again with people without any side effects whatsoever. You name it. Just express your intent clearly, either out loud verbally or only in your mind. All the while, simply meditating uh, in a conventional way and just telling yourself you're calm, cool, and silent, and that will help. That's it. It's pretty much that simple. So so instead of just general meditation, you focus specifically on the area of um, of your life that you want to heal. In this context, the area that's been traumatized, to put it that way. And yes, it's only a matter of time. Generally speaking, this should help. Of course, even better in combination with all the other things I mentioned such as massages, introspection, music, long inhales and exhales, and vegetation and nudity. But uh meditation is definitely number 1 meditation is definitely the best option here so yeah again you simply just relax and uh, instead of meditating in general you focus on the area of your uh, traumatized past that needs uh, healing that specific part of you spiritually that needs healing due to trauma uh sustained by whatever or whichever event or events you went through and it's only a matter of time you'll see that when you tell yourself that okay nothing of this has not this has does not affect me this does not affect me anymore i'm good to go i am healed i am relaxed i am um, i'm calm and cool and silent and you'll definitely feel it believe me you'll make rapid strides let's just say two or three times a day uh, no more than that otherwise you you don't want to overdo it just even just once a day will be fine and it's only a matter of time you'll see that it will work wonders for you to the point where you're completely healed doesn't matter what kind of horrible crap you went through how hefty the shit is that you went through you'll be able to be as happy as a clam okay it doesn't matter whether you were raped in the most horriblest of ways you'll still be able to have sex with someone be intimate with someone and simply enjoy yourself to the fullest it's all about the astro okay it's all up here the astro that needs fixing that needs healing it's uh, similar to uh, sustaining physical damage okay you had a nasty cut on your arm your body heals itself naturally you just go for treatment to optimize everything the meditation in this metaphorical example is treatment um or in this comparison is uh, in this metaphorical uh, example is treatment you simply get treated to optimize the healing process or to to accelerate the healing process And before you know it, your arm is completely healed. That cut is gone. You can do everything that you were able to do again before you sustained that cut. Same thing. So that's all. I'll hear uh, from anyone if there are any questions. Ciao. Bye.